What is behind the silence and all the words remain unspoken? When people talk about rape, what comes into your mind? Rape is rape. It is a crime. Is it pity? Anger? It has nothing to do with sex. Everything to do with power. What do you think are the motives behind the screams of victims that are being continuously muted? Is it the culture to blame? The customs way of thinking? The flaw of the system? Or is it the unmanageable individuals with all the different motives and reasoning? I think the main cause of rape is that people, like, they're uneducated and, like, they don't know how dangerous rape is. And Ego are nurtured uh, by ideas and stereotypes among the society. Kalau saya melihat kasus-kasus tersebut karena memang banyak daya dukung dari teknologi informasi. Mungkin memang betul bahwa uh, yang melakukan ini atau laki-lakinya ini memang dia mempunyai sisi psikologis yang salah tapi kadangkala juga kita juga harus melihat pemicunya yaitu perempuannya itu sendiri I think it actually kind of does because like the values and also like the standard standards of men in Indonesia could like uh, affect why rape happens. So masculinity and rape is what I've said before. It's like how women is like men tends to uh, amplify their ego, amplify their desires and how women are perceived weak. Walaupun di Indonesia sebetulnya laki-laki lebih dominan, tapi kecenderungan itu tidak tidak terlihat dari beberapa kasus-kasus uh, pemerkosaan yang ada di Indonesia. One of the contributors of rape is how society shapes our mind. Indonesia's culture sees men as a stronger one. That makes the people come up with stereotypes and gender in inequality. Society often taught us, don't get raped instead of don't rape. In many cases, people actually blame the victim for the mini skirt and the too revealing top. But it's really the outfits that are wrong. Yang dimaksud adalah untuk memahami bagaimana kita bisa menjaga diri, kemudian bisa apa namanya me, memahami bahwa ada hal-hal yang harus kita jaga dari organ-organ atau bagian tubuh kita yang tidak bisa diekspos atau tidak bisa di apa namanya diraba dengan sembarang orang. Jadi kalau tapi menurut saya kita juga harus melihat dari e, dua sisi secara seimbang. Mungkin memang betul bahwa e, yang melakukan ini atau laki-lakinya ini memang dia mempunyai sisi psikologis yang salah, tapi kadangkala juga kita juga harus melihat pemicunya yaitu perempuannya itu sendiri. Bagaimana dia bisa menjaga perilakunya, etitutnya, bahkan dari hal sesimpel bagaimana dia berpakaian. Nah, artinya bahwa kita masyarakat harus bisa menilai kedua hal itu secara seimbang. In many cultures, including Indonesia, men are seen as dominant, while the other hand, women are seen as objects. Men are expected to be strong, powerful, and in control, while in the contrary, women are weak and powerless. This masculinity aspect in Indonesia has shaped people's mindset into thinking that men are superior, women are frail.